All right, YouTubers, I got a really special treat for you. I promised you guys that this was coming. So I finally finished this and it's time to show it off. This is my most aggressive electric vehicle project yet. You guys have seen the, the electric Schwinn, the electric fat bike, my son's uh, 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 go-kart. And now this is a street legal, my first street legal conversion. Check it out, folks. This is a 2007 Hammerhead 150 Super Sport that has been converted to electric power and I've gone through all the red tape to make this a street legal neighborhood electric vehicle. It's got license plate, it's got a VIN, it's got a title, it's got a registration, and most of all, it has got electric power and it's belt drive. So I'm super excited to show this to you today. As you can see here, you have this big giant brushed electric motor and a belt drive, just like in a Harley. It is super, super quiet and it's got plenty of power and it's uh, so fun to drive. So we'll go through the features, talk about what I did and we'll take it for a spin. So as you can see here, we have the dashboard. I've got We've got an odometer with a speedometer, with turn signal indicators, with headlight indicators, with a horn, with turn signals, yes. Forward, reverse, and stop. Headlights, daytime running lights, bright lights, third brake light, GPS, speaker, battery level meter, and the ever familiar power management meter. Inside the box are 20 LG 3.7 volt LiPos at 60 amp hours, making about five kilowatts worth of electricity. Top speed on this is 45 miles an hour. And here's the cool part, folks. I went through all the time and energy and effort to get it registered as an electric conversion. So now when you pull up the VIN number on this, it no longer comes up as an off-road vehicle. It now comes up in the DMV as a neighborhood electric vehicle. Now, what does that mean? Well, there's three classifications of vehicles. There is the LSV, the NEV, and the EV. The LSV is the low speed vehicle. That is limited to 25 miles an hour. It generally has that large orange triangle on the back. It's, you see your golf carts, your tractors, your farm implement equipment, things like that. Um, they don't require a full-size license plate and a registration and they can generally golf carts can generally be ridden around in your subdivision Now the next step up from there is an NEV an NEV has a limit of 35 miles an hour You can travel on any public road where the speed limit is posted 45 or less and you're not restricted to your subdivision So you can drive this around on public highways as long as the posted speed is less than 45. The other catch is that you can you can't cross over you can cross over a road that, where the posted speed is more than 45 as long as the receiving road is back to 45 or less. So I switched everything to LEDs except for the turn signals. So we've got daytime running lights for LE, that are LEDs. got regular headlights they're actually very bright it's still light outside so you can't really tell and then you got it has high beams sure super bright now as far as what I did is I took a lot of my cues from the design work from my first go-kart which you guys got all the detail on and I'll go through that as well. But if you look inside, we've got a 200 amp battery management system, a Kelly Controls KDS 200 mini speed controller, reversing contactors, relays, pre-charged diodes, and fuses. We have a uh, 200 amp uh, shunt for the current meter here 
we've got a 60 watt buck converter to convert the 84 volts down to 12 to power the headlights accessories so on and so forth cell phone and we've got fans now what's interesting here I use computer fans I've got one here in the top and one on each side the one on the top spins backwards to suck air in the ones on the side spin forward to blow air out and it actually works very well the batteries are underneath this wood plant uh, wood panel here just like I did with the first go-kart and there's still a little bit of room to spare but again they're 20 LG 3.7 lipos in series at 60 amp hours you've got a third brake light a lighty a lit uh, license plate light tail lights and what was really cool about the hammerhead 150 super sport twister gt whatever see these brackets right here this is so cool folks back when uh th these were made that is a bracket for speakers and the speakers were in the shape of missiles or rockets and then you would plug in your audio jack input right here and you'd have these bazooka looking missiles on the side of your hammerhead very very cool you cannot buy the right side anymore because the right side had the speaker with the amplifier you can buy the left side you just have to buy two of them and flip them around and then provide your own amplifier you could do that it has hydraulic disc brakes on the front and rear and when i got this i got it with a the gy6 150 with the cvt it was not in running condition I took the uh, engine, got it running, and then sold the engine and transmission out of it. And I bought a, this is a Mote Energy ME0709. This is rated at eight horsepower with a peak of 15. And uh, torque at the rear wheels is about 40 foot pounds of torque. So got a nice wide belt. Um, so this again is a Mote Energy ME0709, the bracket I got on eBay. The sprocket assembly, AZ USA, the same company that made the custom sprocket for the 52 sprocket for the uh, uh, Carter Brothers go-kart, made an adapter plate for me. And the belt drive sprocket, belt, or the driven sprocket, belt, and drive sprocket came from uh, uh, oh, what is the name of the place? It's Carts, uh, Comet Carts. So they, I told them my design application. AZUSA made the adapter plate. Uh, Comet Carts made the, or provided a two-piece sprocket that mounted to the thing. And they provided the right length belt and the right length sprocket. And I have a gear ratio of about five to one. I removed everything that had anything to do with a gas uh, gas setup. I put a uh, electric throttle pedal. This back here is where the uh, gas tank used to be, so we have the battery box instead. Um, got your phone holder, your TomTom Tom GPS, although that you don't really need that. That's just more for fun. You've got your battery meter right there. This turns on your accessories, Beep. horn, and forward, stop, and reverse. As far as what I replaced when I got it, I put new tires on, new brake pads, new rotors, new master cylinder, new headlights, new seats, new bimini top, new windshield, new side view mirrors, new rear view mirrors, uh, license plate light, third brake light, and uh, well that's a lot right there. So. Um, that's it weighs in about with the batteries and everything weighs in about 500 pounds and uh, this thing really goes um, I take it to the store it runs great and uh, we'll go ahead and and go ahead and give it a spin but uh, other things that I've done let's see well, I can't think of anything else but this looks great it's so much fun to ride and the belt drive conversion was the single most best spend of my conversion money on this yet it was a 50 uh 
it was a number 50 chain but it was just so loud so we got rid of that and uh went with the uh the belt drive so um go out and we'll go ahead and uh, take it for a spin catch you in a minute